Hi YouTube, in this tutorial I will show you guys how to upload a PHP backdoor on a Windows IIS 10 server. Uh, one thing I want to make clear is that these tutorials are for educational purposes only. So I'm making these tutorials to help you pass your cybersecurity certifications like OSCP. So having said that, let's get started. Now if you're familiar with Hack the Box, this is the Secnotes machine from HTB. Now the IP address of our computer or the target is 10, 10, 10 and the service is running on port 8888 in here. So first what we have done is that we have done a quick nmap scan of it. Uh, so in here we can see our nmap scan. So I have run nmap, the sc option, it's for the default scripts, SC version, sv is for version information, p8808 this is for the Port. So I just wanted to do a quick uh, scan of this port only and this 10.10.10.97 is the IP address of our machine. So in here we can see that this is the port 8808. The state is open, it's running HTTP and the version is Microsoft IIS HTTPD 10. And down here we get this server, HTTP server header, which also says that it is Microsoft IIS 10. So this is our server, this is quick information of the services running on our target machine and target port. So what we will do is we will upload our um, PHP backdoor. So uh, let's just take a quick look at our PHP backdoor. So it's a small file. This is the contents of this file. Uh, this file is called lazytutorials.php. So what we will do is that we will upload this file. So the parameter that we are using in here is CMD. So we will execute commands using the CMD parameter. You can have any other parameter name if you want. I'm using CMD. So the name of the file, as I said, is lazy tutorials. So I'll upload this. Now there are different methods of uploading it. Since I have a SMB connection or SMB access to the server, I will be using SMB client to access the server and upload this lazy tutorials.php file. So next we use this command SMB client, the target IP address and the directory in which we will be uploading this uh, PHP backdoor. And we will be accessing it as the user Tyler. So when we press enter, it will prompt us for the password. I've already saved the password in my clipboard, so I will paste it and press enter. So once we get uh, connected, I will type dir, and it shows me the contents of this directory. So in here, there are two files in it. One is iisstore.htm, and the other one is iisstore.png. So what we have to do is we have to upload this lazy tutorials file to it. So how can we do it? We can use this uh, command called put. And since it's in the same directory, I will just type the name of the file is, which is uh, lazytutorials.php. So when I press enter, it gives me a message in here that it says putting file lazy tutorials. This is the name of our file and it will put it as lazytutorials.php. So I'm going to type dir. It, is, uh, it says that lazytutorials.php. Now our backdoor has been uploaded. Now there is, a, I think, a script running in the background that uh, deletes this file every few minutes. So if you can access this file, then you can just upload it again. Uh, so this was how you connect to it using SMB and upload it. However, you can do all this using a one-liner as well. So this is the one-liner. So this is the command, the US for username and the password in here. So Tyler is the username, and this is the password for the user Tyler. Now the username and password has been separated by this uh, percentage separator here. Next. This is the target IP address. This is the directory to which we will be uploading. C stands for the command. So put lazytutorials.php. This was the name of the file that we will want to upload. This is what we typed previously, if you remember. So what we can do is if we press enter, it will again give us the same message that will say that putting file lazytutorials.php to us, lazytutorials.php. So next, what we can do is we can um, execute commands using curl as well. So in here, curl. HTTP, then this is the IP, the port, and this was the name of our file, lazytutorials.php. Now this CMD, if you remember, it is from here, this CMD. So if it was something else like lazy, then what we could do is we could type in lazy in here and the name of the command, which in this case is who am I? So when we run this who am I command, we get this username Tyler, and this is the name of the computer, which is Signodes. So this is one way of doing it. Now we could also uh, run this from the browser. So what we can do is we can follow lazytutorials.php and then uh, the name of the parameter, it was cmd and the command was 
Core MI. So let's just quickly uh, go here and upload it again in case it wasn't deleted. So now it's there. So now when we press enter, so you can see that we get uh, the Tyler username. So next what we can do is we can also send it to burp. So this time, if I go to burp, enter script is on. So if I type in who am I, you can see that we get it uh, in here. So let's right click on it, send it to repeater. So in repeater, when we send it, we get this uh, output, which was the same as before, Tyler. Now we can easily run some other command, like if we run dir, we will see the contents of this directory, which again, this is uh, the file that we saw previously, isstore.htm and isstore.png. Uh, this is our backdoor, which in this case, it's called lazytutorials.php. So in here, uh, I showed you guys how to upload the PHP backdoor and run commands through that backdoor using curl uh, in here. Uh, also, how to run it using the browser and the uh, burp repeater. So this is it for this one, guys. If you have any questions, suggestions, or recommendations, uh, please put it in the comment section below. And if you found this tutorial useful, make sure to share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one.